please keep to the gardener arc. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. I'm we're tonight is going to be like I said a chill stream where we're all hanging out with my core audience. Um I am very committed to the to the grand gardener arc. The grand gardener arc being one in which I am uh I am taking the seeds of what I have begun to plant and I'm letting it grow. And my goal is to start start to encourage a healthier ecosystem in my little corner of the web, even if it's a small corner. But I want to have a healthy ecosystem here so that um, people like so that there's no the incentives to, to participate in moronic drama are lessened. Um, there will always be an incentive because that stuff sells very well on YouTube for obvious reasons. People love to talk about other people. They love to talk about other people when something juicy is happening. Um, that is all very clickable and whatever. Um, but it is horrible and it will destroy your life and it will destroy your channel. It is unsustainable. Um, the channels that succeed are channels that have a concrete identity beyond the drama. And our channel has that. Um, even if the pressures to participate in drama and get pulled into it are incredibly high. And, uh, even if the space that I once considered myself to be a part of meaning lefty politics streaming, um, has completely a, a blown up. And by that, I mean it blew up, fell to the ground, and started rotting like a fucking whale that had dynamite shoved underneath it. A beached whale, you know? Um, yeah. Um, it's, you know, so there's a lot of, there's been some struggles, you know? And, um... I've been intentionally doing a lot of content that is stuff that I really like. I I did a whole video a couple of weeks ago talking about my approach to content and how I want to approach my channel going forward. Um, that I have been on a like very, very strong anti-drama arc for a very long time. And just to be clear, what I define as drama is stuff like did you hear what these two people are fighting about? <gasps> the closest thing I'll even I even got to was the disagreement between TJ and Vosh about drugs. And even that, I didn't even approach it as a drama thing. I simply wanted to give my personal opinion about the topic at hand and and that topic happened to come up in a video that I was also criticized in. So um yeah. I want to bring I want to keep bringing lots and lots of unique and one of a kind content uh uh to the forefront of my channel. That's what I want to be able to bring forward. And I think it's been going pretty well so far. Um but you know, there's always a there's always an adjustment period and some things aren't going to land and hit as well. Uh the hype and the, the video about Death Stranding 2 that video, that one is for special people in the audience. That one's for me, okay? Something that's very important to me. And it's unfortunate it didn't get a whole lot of views. But also, I know that if I keep putting out videos about video games and media more frequently, that that will attract those types of people to my channel. And I want to attract people who are interested in that type of stuff to my channel. Um, you all love it. My core audience loves it. So... I might lose some of the people who are really into politics if I do less hard politics. But the reality is, even the hard politics videos just aren't doing that well. Um, we just need to grow my core audience. And in order to grow my core audience, I got to put more stuff that's, you know, risky out there. I got to take risks on a video about Death Stranding where I talk about why uh, I don't get hyped for video games when, it, except for when it's a Hideo Kojima game and why I love Death Stranding, you know? Yeah, so. Damn, I liked politics. Well, don't worry. I'm always going to talk about politics. There is, like, I'm not stopping politics. I can't. I'm incapable of stopping politics it's just that um for a while i found myself falling into um like this pressure to like uh be like a news coverage person and i used to do that a little more or in the early days it's kind of come and gone on my channel 
But the reality is, it's not my thing. I love talking about politics and I will always do lots of videos talking about political issues. But I prefer to talk about political issues on my own terms and as a subject in and of itself that you can become smarter, you know, about by by sitting down and thinking about and going through it with other people as opposed to like constantly trying to react to the news especially because the news is fucking boring as shit making fun of the right-wing bullshit is good for the soul and decent for the algo yeah but it gets too much okay so about that so i we do make fun of right-wing shit um obviously uh, we haven't really done a whole... Well, I guess we did. We did the Meatball Ron DeSantis and the Greg Abbott video. But um, reacting to re right-wing content right now is like... The, the, the chud-dunking industrial complex has collapsed quite a bit. And part of the reason is because it's so repetitive. Every single video that's being put out by these right-wingers is the same fucking thing. All of them. They're all on the exact same message. They're all putting out the exact same stuff. It's just like one giant repeater. You can only do it so many times before it gets tiring, you know? It gets tired. I get bored of it, you know? But it still happens, and I'm still going to do it. There's still all kinds of stuff to dunk on, you know? But it's just like... There was a period of time on the internet where, like... You know, right-wingers aren't... You know, they haven't ever been any smarter than they are right now. But, um, but they were less, uh, they were less concentrated. You know, it's like they've, you know, you know, like evaporation, you know, it's like salt water. The salty tears of the right wing have begun to evaporate. And now there's just sort of concentrated salt. And it's like, ugh. you know, you can only have, you can only deal with so much concentrated salt before it's just like, this sucks. And yeah, that's true. Alexi says it's repetitive and, and seeing it over and over again can be demotivating. Yeah, it really can be. If you spend a lot of time just listening to them be insane and say the most insane and evil shit, all of them, all the time, it can give you a distorted view of the world. And I'd much rather spend a lot of my time, like, I don't know, talking about stuff that I like, laughing about funny things, you know? I don't know. Uh talking about my feelings on MMOs and whether or not you should play them or not. I love when you talk about movies. Yeah, I haven't done many movie reviews this year. Honestly, I've been um I've been I've I've been playing a lot of games and I've been obviously I was really busy during January, but um I haven't watched a whole lot of movies. However, that's going to be changing coming up soon. I have a whole bunch of movies lined up. In fact, tomorrow I'm going to be watching um Society of the Society of the Snow, um, or the Society of Snow, which uh, I'm really looking forward to watching that. I'm sure that's going to be a very messed up movie, and I'll have a lot of thoughts about it. Um, I plan on watching a whole bunch of of films in the near future, and then I'll be talking about them and putting my reviews up on the channel. Um, I I I I want to do more discussions about art because uh, I love it. And I feel like we have a really good time and that we get to laugh a lot and whatever. Oh, yeah, I should have done a Rebel Moon review. I should have done a, metal, a Rebel Moon review. That would have been a really good and funny thing. I could still do that. 